they were making such a cool episode. This video has been requested by one of you on Instagram, and I have to be honest, I'm so happy you did. I'm literally obsessed with this table. I think it's gonna look literally perfect inside my studio, and I cannot wait to start. What are we doing, you're wondering? Well, finally, I'm not gonna destroy the name because for the first time, it's in Italian, and that is Tavolo Morbido from Studio Mignone, and... It's going viral all over Instagram and TikTok. I don't even know how this can go viral because it costs like $5,000 almost. How did all these people afford it? Well, we don't really care how they actually managed to pay that because we are gonna remake it with this container salad. Like always, we're gonna use the most random and cheap equipment that we can and nothing professional so that I'm sure that even you can make it at home. Let's start. I bought this in what you would call your Dollar Tree, but basically in any place where you can buy extremely cheap stuff, this was like one dollar each, you want them to end up being more of something like a cube, so they have to be the same size. And now we're gonna fill them up to make sure that they don't break. Tip number one, hold this thing upside down. Now believe me, this thing is gonna fluff up a lot. Let it stay for a while because you don't wanna add it all the way to the top because otherwise it's just gonna explode. Here we go! And as you can see, this thing's fluff up like crazy. Even though we filled it up just still here, it became like it's, a, it's like a muffin. Now we need to cut them flat so that we can match one on top of the other. Our responsible person would wait like three hours, but I'm bored. Okay, I should have definitely waited a bit longer because when I cut this out, it was still soft inside, so I had to wait again. So we made a bunch of them, and now it's time to finally go and connect them. This step can be done with anything sticky. I'm using here super glue, but also silicone would have been okay. You just want the two containers to be stuck one on top of the other. I'm also placing some tape to hold it in place so that I'm sure that while it dries, it doesn't move. Step number two. Mix together some joint compound and also a fair amount of water. You want this to be not too liquidy and not too solid. I feel like a witch staring like the pot. Okay guys, we're almost there. We created this smushy texture over here and we're literally just gonna go and throw it on top. <coughs> throw it on top of our boxes and try to make it as flat as possible. The first goal is to try to make it as a square. All the details are gonna come out later. Pro tip, before we go and splash our compound on the box, what I suggest you to do is to get some sandpaper and scratch just a little bit the box so that it's not gonna be slippery and it's gonna stay way better on your plastic that obviously plastic is not made for that. Scrub, 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 scrub. You are gonna make this as rough as possible so that the joint compound is gonna stick to it instead of sliding off, and this is a very important step. Put your gloves on. This process is just splashing your joint compound all over your structure. You don't have to be exactly precise while you're doing this. You just need to cover all of it and give it some thickness. If it's too thin, it's gonna break out very easily. Now, why did I use a paper under it? It's exactly for this reason. Because at a certain moment, after you let it dry for like five, six hours, you're gonna have to do all to the bottom. Yes, even if you don't see it, we want to make this perfect, so we're doing all to the bottom. And the paper let me spin it around without breaking it or nothing like that. Before we go any further, it's important to take a second to thank my Patreon subscribers because guys, I'm telling you, your support means so much to me. So thank you so much, Yanani Anandan. Thank you, Anais L. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Asia. Thank you, Kismet Sarkin. Thank you to Shalom and thank you to Tari. Step three, squash it. We are now gonna be working on creating the voluminous, voluminous to go. The thicker part on the side. And we're gonna make it with aluminum paper. But it is important to keep in mind that the side of the glass that we're gonna put on top is not like an angle, it's not like a sharp angle. We want it to be curved because all this table is very soft. Tavolo morbido. With this set, I created this little shape that simply got one of the extra jars that I got, put it on top of the paper and traced it so that now we have the perfect corner that we want to follow on top of that. First step is to cut out our guide and this way we can place it on top of our structure and know where to go. Here I'm just placing a little bit of the joint compound on the side just to use it like a sort of glue. And then finally you see me placing first our guide and then the little piece of aluminum paper on the side. I'm gonna wrap all the 
texture around it so that you don't see it and after that I made all the structure around it I am actually going to use something flat to make sure that now finally instead of having round edges it is going to become more flat I didn't do this from the beginning because it was so much texture we needed to add it, it would be useless so just now we made it squared and straight and then sand it for the last time time to talk about the glass I'm completely covered in dust after the sanding, but anyway, there is two different ways that we can do the top. Option number one is obviously to use glass. I actually decided to use plexiglass, and the reason is absolutely not because it's cheaper, actually it's more expensive, but I want this to be really in my studio. So the idea of me breaking it, just throwing stuff on it, wasn't the best, so I chose plexiglass. Now, both if you chose glass or plexiglass, you are going to have to do the same exact thing that you did with the blocks, also with your top surface. If you are going to do it with glass, this is what you're going to need to cut it out. It's actually extremely, extremely simple and this is so cheap. I'm going to show you here how to do it. In case you decide to do it with plexiglass, you're going to have to cut it instead with a jigsaw like I did in this other video. Or you can make a big smile to the seller of the store and maybe he's gonna cut it for you like he did for me ah, guys i'm literally so 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 excited we left this bad boys drying all night and they are literally perfection they are still completely dusty so we need to go and clean them up and then i will spray them with something extremely shiny so that it reminds us the marble effect of the original one i cannot wait to start this is probably the coolest table that i've done in a while Maybe the coolest tip I've ever done. I cannot wait! <laughs> it is springtime. And I asked everybody on Instagram if I should do it this shiny white or if actually I should marble it in pink like in this other case. But most of you voted for white, so that's what I did. If you're against this vote and you think it was the wrong one, well, you should follow me on Instagram so that next time you should vote for what you want me to do. Let's go on. So another episode is done. I hope you had fun because I had so much fun creating this table. Thank you so much for requesting it because I basically do everything you ask. And now, do not forget to subscribe because we post new episodes every single Monday. Let's go see the results. Ooh, this thing is so cute. And I was literally missing a coffee table for my studio. It's perfect. It's so big. It's so scenographic. It's the first thing that you see when you come in the office. And this is a big thing. Because if you don't see my DIY AMS chair and you see this before, it means it's pretty cool. I'm telling you. Yes, I didn't sand this perfectly. I admit it. I could sand it even a bit more. But I got bored in the meantime. You can do a better job than me. I believe in you.